With this lesson, you will know a lot more about animations and I want to show you how to make that each feature appears one after another. We are set and ready to animate the slide. We will begin with the title. So I go to animations, I go to animation pane. Since I copied this from the title, there is already an animation here, but I simply delete it. I hit the first one, I go to more entrance effect and I would like it to peek in from the top. So I search for the animation and as you see it's there. I select peek in, I select the group and in the effect options I go from top. I make the same for the tagline. What I can do is select the first group, go to animations and use the animation painter. While I press on the animation painter and I press on the tagline, it will copy all the animations there are to it to the tagline. As you see, the peaking is already from the top. I have the first two. I want them to start automatically because as the slide starts, I want the title to appear. Now I work on the rest. I want this to split. It should split horizontal out. I follow with the rest. The first line should also split, but this time I leave it at the vertical in. Ok, the first two can start after the previous, after previous, and I make it with previous. So after the slide enters, the title appears, then the lines start to appear. And we want only the first line to be visible until we have explained the first two features. I once again select the title, go to Animation Painter and simply paint the animation. I want it to peak from the left. I go to Animation Painter and I copy the animations to all of the left features. I do the same for the right side. I select the first, I go to Animation Painter, I click on it, I click on the group, I select Effect Options and from the right. Right now I simply have to select the animation painter and copy the animation over. Since I want the first two features to appear, I select the feature, I place it in the right place. It's already placed right because after the straight connectors are appearing. So this time I make it start on click. Also this one, I want to point right after it and it's starting with previous. Then I want the middle line to appear and the second features start to appear. So I click on this straight connector, I go to animation painter and I paint the animation. Do not get confused, I make it one at a time. Right now I need to move it here and make it on click. Now I select the idea and as you see after this appears the idea will also already appear because we clicked a second time. Afterwards the location should also appear. So I move it up and the last two features are group 67 and group 70 will appear with the last line. So I go once again, I click on the straight connector, I go to animation painter, I paint the animation and we are completely done with the animation. I just moved those animations straight to the bottom and now we can present the entire slide as ready. Let's test run this slide. As you see, the title appears and people immediately know that since this line is this big, probably more features are going to be explained. Once I click it for the first time, the two first feature appear. When I am done explaining those features, I click again and the next features appear. Everything is very nicely animated and the last features appear as I click it for the third time. As we see, we could shift it a little bit so this won't be visible, but these are just minor changes to the slide. Overall, I'm very satisfied with the slide because everything is appearing slowly and I can talk about the first feature while not confuse people with all the rest. So. Thank you for your attention in this lesson. I know it was long, it was difficult, but you've learned really a lot here. And, and now, since we have many animations already done, 
we can for example copy those text boxes onto the next slides we will be using. So I hope this was informative and see you in the next lesson.